Let's make this drawing step by step in a solid work and uh, you will here learn a new command called uh, dynamic mirror entities and also all this command here you will learn in this tutorial. And I have here same one with dimensions and uh, that's the dimension that uh, I will as well leave the links below so you can follow along. So here you have 8.25, 0.85, so this is a 19 and we'll divide by two. And uh, this is uh, the for each, the one for the middle. And uh, here is the width for that one. So that's the way we'll do this drawing. And we'll leave as well this blueprint. So here starts, new section. And then uh, activate uh, here, change first with the inch because it is in inch. Then I will activate the right plane, sketch, center line, and then click there. Now I will activate the this command, dynamic mirror entity. If you, you don't have there, just go to the customize command and then type dynamic mirror entity. So you'll see here, just drag and drop. Just here now, go back and then activate this command and then select the lines. Now activate the lines. Now I can here make the sketch like that. So that's the way I will do. And then uh, dimensions, here will be 0 0.85. Here as well will be 0 0.85 according to our drawing. And here will be 0 0.40. Here will be 0 0.35. And here 8.25. Now I need to make here one relation equal. And then uh, define here the one below, which is uh, 9.50. We'll make here one more line, right? So center line this way, like that. Okay. Now let's here click OK, rebuild, and then use the features revolve command, revolve boss base. Then here select this line, and then OK, so it is done this part. Now let's here do go to the front plane, Activate, make the seco. This seco will be four inch according to our drawing. Will be four inch. Okay. Now let's go to the feature again and then extrude. Here will be zero point four. And then okay. Okay. Rebuild. Now go back sketch and here I will select here convert these entities. Now goes to the line, center line. Click there. Now, here again, so um, I will, um, yeah, click there, we'll just here, go back and then, um, okay, we'll just here, go back and I used again the dynamic mirror entities, click there, okay, now activate, okay, dynamic entities, this on, now line, do like that, this, this sketch, just go like that and then we'll be, automatically. now you can here use the trim, to cut all this one here, activate the trim, and then I can use the dimension, right? And then here, here will be 0 0.20, and here will be 1.20, and here will be 1 inch, like that. So it is a fully defined rebuild. We'll do the same thing, but in the other side, I will just go back like that, right? We'll just turn and use here the top plane, like that. Top plane sketch. And I will, yeah, okay, so that's the way we'll do. Normal, and then center line going to the bottom and activate again the dynamic, click this one, this on, good. Now let's here use the line and then click this way, go back. Okay, that's the one I want. And okay, now dimension. Let's here make the dimensions, some dimension. Here will be two inch, and on the bottom will be 0 0.36, and here will be eight inch. Okay, so it is also full defined, it is good. Now I will project this, this line right on uh, that wall. For that, it goes to, to the curves, will be to the curves, and then split line here. Make sure it is a projection, single line. Select that part and then here make the position reverse, then okay. So it is already projected. Now I will make one uh, arc. Okay, so we'll be in the, the, the right plane, 
with three point like that and then here also make the dimension which will be 7.80 that dimension for this one and I will just here connect this line here or select the, that one here select all the line on the tops and then okay select all the line on the top and then use the pierce properties and the pierce do the same thing on the below select the lines and then the pierce as well all that line just control and then pierce so it is also fully defined now okay and then it will build let's here now use the features and then goes to the loft loft here select uh, manager shift and then select there okay shift again and then click there until you see all the one okay good so it is all done you can see now let's here use the fillets fillet here will be 0 0.06 inch okay just come here and then make sure that it is all very well done okay let's see here go back Fill it 0 0.06 and click there, click there, just select here everything, right? To have just one fillet. And also on the top as well. Let's here go back to the tops and do there, here, also there, and in the bottom. The bottom here, okay, like that. So okay good now let's see click ok now it is done now let's here use the circular pattern very important here so we'll uh, select so go to the tree manager and then loft as well come here and then uh, just come here and put this line to be in this in the center now i want here 10 must be 10 make sure that it is equal in here geometry pattern this is so checked very important then click ok so it is also done. Now let's here go back and then to, to the top sketch and then make here one more sequel. Okay, like that. And then smart dimension here will be 2.3. Okay. Now let's here make one more sequel. Will be in uh, this uh, empty space here, right? Right there. And then here will be 0 0.45 inch. Good. Now let's here build and select the small sequel go here to the extra the cut and here very important up to not not up to verts up to next very important so if you put up to verts you, you will have the arrow must be always up to next so if you want to cut all all the the side we'll just here go back and uh, okay so my my mouse is a little bit must be up to up to next let's just see uh, repeat again so okay select and then it goes to the extra the cuts and then it goes to the up to next and click ok so it, this part it is done so that's the way uh, we do so that's the way we make this uh, drawing and um, circular pattern as well and uh, here will be five sides now come here click center then click OK. So part complete. Now remove this uh, line. Just and then uh, sketch again. Click center, sickle, and here will be one inch size. That's the size of this one, one inch. And then click OK. Now let's here ex extrude cut again. It will be zero point zero six, and then click OK. Click OK. OK done now let's here go to the appearance just to change here the the view and uh, let's here choose uh, let's see copper okay this one here good body click all doing is complete and uh, thank you so much for watching please consider to subscribe this will help me a lot and i consider as well watching this video here in my side thank you very much for watching and see you to the next one